Jay Haynes for the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Today in this video, we're going to apply a continuous walking movement from Mixamo to a three dimensional model in HitFilm. So, the first thing you want to do is go to Mixamo, log in, and either find one of their characters or upload one of your own. Then you will want to search for a walk cycle that you are happy with and pick one of them. And make sure before you download it that you check in place. That will allow this walk cycle to happen in place. You can change uh, you know, how much their arms move, uh, how quickly they're walking and that sort of thing, or slowly. And then when you're ready, just select download and you can choose whatever frames per second that you want. You want to bring it down with the skin and everything and then save that on your computer. If you want the textures for that, you'll want to go ahead and just download the character itself as an FBX file. Then in Blender, you can go ahead and select all by hitting the letter A and then deleting them using the delete key. Under File, Import, FBX, find the walking cycle FBX and import it. Then you can see that it's walking. All you have to do is then File, Export, as an FBX, the exact same thing that you did before. You can even select the same FBX and say export. This just washes the cycle through Blender so that it is usable in HitFilm. Then in HitFilm, you can say import a 3D model and select that character. Say open. And now it will load the model, which will include all of the textures and everything and then I can go ahead and cancel it. Now if I import a 3D model and instead I select the walk cycle you can see that the textures have been placed into a folder and I can go ahead and source that folder from there and I can go ahead and assign those textures to the model itself. Notice that the walk cycle is here. If I go ahead and create a new composite shot now and I bring in the FBX model and then I open up the models walking in animations folder. If I drag the animations in there, opening up that, I can tick on loop. And now I have this walking cycle that I can then place in my scene. So, for example, if I wanted this particular character to, say, walk across the screen, then what I would do is rotate her, say, 90 degrees, and then I would, uh, starting at the beginning, perhaps pull this so that she is on one side, maybe 1,200, click position keyframe and move forward a few seconds, and then perhaps move that to the other side, and so now you can see that she is just walking across the screen. So in a nutshell, that's how you do it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you like this kind of content, please do me a favor and like this video. Subscribe to the channel and click the little bell icon for notifications. Feel free to share it with your friends. And as always, thanks for watching.